going to make a custom bike. We're going to put together a bike, yeah. Yeah, not, not custom, completely. Well, we're not going to build a frame. We found a frame. What's the frame called? It is called, it's a Yukata <laughs> something. Uh, I believe that's called Yakota. Yakota, same thing. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, what's the big problem with the frame? The brakes are kind of weird, but also it's mm -hmm. dirty and it doesn't have anything on it. No, I think the biggest problem is the C-tube. The C-tube? Oh, with the weird little clamp. Yeah, so we don't really know what's up with the clamp. It has this slot in the back and um, we need to be able to tighten the seat post, but there's no, there's no slot in here. So we're gonna have to fix that before we ride it. But we have a seat post that kind of fits. We got some wheels and we're gonna stick it together. All right, what's the other weird thing, Joe? We said weird thing was the seat tube and... The headset is like one, one and a quarter millimeter. Inch. One and a quarter inch, yep. which and is really weird. You know what a normal one is? No. One, Two? Either probably one an inch and an eighth or one inch. Okay. So this is like a big fatty. We got these wheels from Yellow Bike Project. How much did we pay for wheels and a rear derailleur? $20. That's a good deal. All right, let's stick them in there. So I think, even though nothing's tight, this is a 26 inch wheel bike. This should fit you for a while, I think. What do you think? <laughs> I, I like it. I think, yeah, once the seats in and the tires are on, it'll be great. Okay, cool. I think this is better than your little tiny bike. Yeah. Hey, Joe, we're back in the, in the garage and we have an update on what we've done to the bike so far. What do we do today, first of all? So, today we went to neighbor's house and, and got... do you know, can you say the name of the neighbor? Now. Now, now tell me. Yep. And what does now do for work? He also makes bikes. Yes. Okay. So um, what do we do there? We got the seat post in with like some grease and did we stretch this out? Not really stretch it out. We used a thing called, we well, used two tools. One's called a hone. Yeah. Which, okay, we cleaned it out a little. Right. And the other is called a reamer. Yeah. And the reamer is like cutting. So yeah, it made the post work. But the other thing we did was... We... <laughs> oh yeah, we we bent this, we moved these together so that this back wheel would fit. Back. Yeah, do you know how to take the wheel out? We can, I'll show you. Uh, yeah. Pull this lever up on this side, and then we can pop the wheel out, and you can tell me what you're talk what you're talking about. Okay, so when we started, these two, um, they were so these this apart. this part is called a dropout. Yeah. These are called the dropouts. They were spread apart, a, like more than they should have been. Do you remember what the measurement was? I, I, I think don't. I think it was like one hundred and forty-five millimeters, maybe. Yeah. Like that. And do you know what it needs to be? It was like one hundred thirty, thirty-five. Yeah, exactly. So it was like yeah. ten millimeters wider. And so this wheel wouldn't fit in. But so what did now do? We just took a plank of wood and pushed it in to bend them. <laughs> But we used a measuring tool to make sure yeah, that it yeah. was even from side to side. Because if you just push from one side, you could squish the bike over and then it wouldn't be even. So yeah. it would ride weird. But we did it the right way. And now the wheel fits in the right way. And what else did now hook us up with? Oh, he got us a derailleur. Yes. And you said it the right way. I Good did job. say it the right way. <laughs> That's a, do you know what kind it is? A rear derailleur. Well, yeah, but what's the brand? A, oh, Shimano. And the model is? Drivetrain. <laughs> <laughs> Dior. Dior, yeah. Yeah. So that is a good, like, middle-of-the-road derailleur. It's going to work well. And we'll set that up with an eight-speed shifter because we have eight speeds on the wheel that we got from Yellow Brake, Pro Yellow Brake Project uh, last week. And I wanted to figure out what size this thing is. I think it might be a 32 low. We gotta figure out the gearing, but we'll figure that out. We're gonna order a bunch of stuff and get yeah. tires and stuff. So there's still one thing that's a, that's hard. Oh, we gotta figure out. There's two things. The seat post clamp. Seat post clamp, which we got. Yeah. But we need to, it, since it's not slotted, 
it um, is looking kind of funky. You have to figure out how to make this thing. It should come right off, you know. <clears throat> you got to make sure this thing will will work. And the way this bike was set up, I think there was some kind of cam in there that that tightened the headset, and that's not there anymore. So what we're going to do is probably cut this down, slot it, and put a hole in the back. Uh, but with that, we're also going to take this brake noodle out and we're going to need to create another way to hang the brake yeah. stop off of the frame. It's not this noodle, but we can come up with something. We'll get um, it. Yeah. And then the other thing was the headset. And we don't have a replacement yet. Yeah. This is inch and, a, inch and a quarter, which is a weird size. Um, but we're going to see if we can find a replacement. And if not, we'll just clean this one up and... It's really dirty. <laughs> you'll run a really grody inch and a quarter headset. Yes. Okay. So what's next? Um, I guess we'll order the stuff that we're ordering and see what we can do with all that. Okay. I guess we just get stuff, see what we can do with it, put it on, and then okay. do the next thing. Yeah, I think what I'd like to do is maybe sandblast the frame and, and work on oh, painting yeah. it too and get the cable stops that we need in the right spot for yep. the brakes and the hangers and all that. But um, that'll be next one. Okay. We did it. We took off the top um, and first we drilled a hole. It wasn't completely centered, so we moved it a little. And then hacksawed down is really precarious with the the bridge and the rest of the seat post. The, you didn't hit it with a hacksaw, yeah. so that was good. Yeah. But also the top of this thing is pretty ragged. It's, so I, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna clean that up. I also mm -hmm. took the noodle off the side. Yeah. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to do a cable hanger on this, but we'll figure that out. Yep. Wanna stick the seat post in and check it? Yeah, okay. Um seat post is right here. Uh, hello? Give me a second. <laughs> How about I do that? Okay. <laughs> okay, so the clamp goes on this way. Yep. And the seat post goes push. in. Should go straight in. Straight down, okay. Get it straight, and then you can clamp the clamp. Yeah. Tighten. You shouldn't need to tighten. I think it's ready to go. Clamp the clamp. Cool. And then... Ugh, can you move? It's good. Turn it. And this clamp is called a... Can suck. <laughs> so that's even cool. Yep. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks.